Hey guys, Donald Mc13 here, and welcome to another beer review. A little uh, Sunday evening beer review. You need to do a couple. See what happens. Uh, won't be much because uh, be sleepy jammy time soon. Because sleepy jammy time. Yeah, I said it. Looked up doing a roof today. So, and beat. Beat, beat, beat. So, I have a beer. And we're looking at something another from Gahan. This one is from their uh, father's their father's four pack they call it. And I've had the other I had the brown, I've had the John A. But I think we drank the uh, drank the blueberry without doing a review of it. But this one is the Premier George Coles Cream Ale, 500 milliliter bottle, 5%. It's a cream ale. Uh, all natural ingredients. Handcrafted ales are brewed the old-fashioned way using all natural ingredients. Malted barley, hops, water, and yeast with no additives, no preservatives, and no pasteurization. Which is surprising because I've had some of the, some beers from Gahan that are have been old, old. Like, uh, they're selling like, like the last stock at a liquor store that should have been, and, and everything's been fine. It's even better, I found. I mean, it was their Gahan Stout. There's an issue out, and I've had that well into the summertime, and it was released in, geez, late in the year, late in the last year. It's been fantastic. But anyways, so yeah, here's what we got. So, let's give her an open, and see what we got. glasses. Yeah, anyways, this is from Micro Brasserie. No Fragour. No, no Fragour. Anyways, they have some real good beer. And if I remember correctly, I think Guy's going to going to one, a beer festival. And these guys are going to be there. Guy, they have uh, nice beers. Give it a pour. Like yellow, slight, slight haze, all kinds of carbonation. Yeah, white head, not what's going on there, but yeah, let's go to the smell, guys. Oh, yeah. Hmm. This is a cream ale special edition. I don't think this is one of the rebranded ones, and somebody correct me on it and say, yeah, you already done that, Don, but, yeah. yeah I know it's right at. That's what's good. Get a good whiff. Yeah, I mean, a little coppery smell. A little wheat. Yeah, I don't know. Nothing overly fantastic smelling. Cheers. Let's go to the taste. <sighs> Strange. Not getting uh, almost an IPA. Now it almost tastes like they're seventeen seventy two mixed with a little something else. I'm not sure what that is. It's almost a 1772. Their IPA mixed with uh, almost with their brown. So I'm getting grapefruit. A little chocolate. A little brown sugar. Mildly hopped golden ale with smooth finish and a thick creamy head. Wow, I would disagree with you there. I mean, it's a white head, but maybe a little, little off white, but yeah, I'm getting the hops. 
getting the uh, a little creamy, but I'm getting it's not so lightly hot. It's a little more than that, I should say. Um, excuse me. Thanks again, the grapefruit. Getting the uh, little brown sugar, a little uh, little chocolatey kind of thing going on. It's almost a like they mixed uh, like three other beers into one. It's not a bad thing, I'll be honest with you, because they make some fantastic beers. Except for obviously a couple of that I can't stand, but yeah, well, <laughs> anybody who watches you know one's there. I mean, it's not bad actually. Yeah, this is a blend of their uh, a few of them. Uh, it's pretty good. Honestly, I don't think I'd buy it again, but I'm just, uh, I just, you know, just I like for beer, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. Like I said, the uh, Gahan's industry stout, love it, fantastic. Well, well, probably my favorite stout. It's just like uh, everything I like about a beer. One of my favorite beers. That and their uh, Iron Bridge Brown is really, real good. This one, yeah. It's good, but uh, you know, it's nothing overly special. So I don't know, rating. I don't know, like it's a medium mouthfeel. Nice bitterness in the back of the time, in the back, and with the finish. I don't know, go, go three on this one, I guess, guys. Anyways, cheers.